Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on what are the main differences between two parsing techniques such as top-down parsing and bottom-up parsing. It is one of the most important concept in compiler design. Now we go for what are the main differences between top-down parsing and bottom-up parsing. Okay, first point in top-down parsing. In this parsing technique, we start parsing from top to down in top-down manner, where top is nothing but start symbol of the parse tree, down is nothing but leaf nodes of the parse tree. Okay, now this is the parse tree. Here top is nothing but start symbol of the parse tree. Leaf nodes, down is nothing but leaf nodes of the parse tree. Small a, small b, small b, small c, small d, small e. These are the leaf nodes of the parse tree in top down part manner. We are start from the start symbol of the parse tree and down to the leaf nodes of the parse tree in a top down manner. Okay, now consider this grammar. So, S is equal to small a capital A capital B small e, A equal to capital A small b small c or small b, capital B is equal to D. This is the given grammar. Now, what is the input string to derive from this grammar? So, A, B, B, C, D, E. All are the terminal symbols. Okay. Now, we have to derive this string by using this grammar by using top-down parsing. Now, we are start from capital S because top-down parsing starts from the start symbol of the parse tree. So, that is S. S is equal to small a capital A capital B small e. Now, here capital A is equal to capital A small b small c. Now, we have to replace capital A by capital A small b small c. Okay. Now, next capital A can be replaced by uh, small b, a is equal to b. Next, capital B can be replaced by only d, small d. Then we are getting the input string small a, small b, small b, small c, small d, small e. Okay, now we are starting from the start symbol of the parse tree. Then we are getting the leaf nodes of the parse tree by using the top down manner for this grammar okay so this is nothing but top down parsing okay now we go for bottom up parsing in this bottom up parsing we are starting from the bottom to top in a bottom up manner here bottom is nothing but leaf nodes of the parse tree up is nothing but start symbol of the parse tree in a bottom up manner. Okay, so now consider the same grammar. Now the given input string is small a, small b, small b, small c, small d, small e. Now we are taking the given input string first. So from this input string, we have to derive the start symbol of the parse tree. Okay, so this is the reverse process for uh, this one. So first we are taking this given string small a, small b, small b, small c, small d, small e. Okay, first we have to replace small b by capital A by using the production capital A is equal to b. Then we are getting this production. Next, a capital A small b small c can be replaced by capital A by using this production. Then we are getting small a capital A small d small e. Next capital 
small d can be replaced by capital B by using the production B tends to D. Next, uh, small a capital A capital B small b we are getting. So this can be reduced by capital S. Okay. So by using the production, we have to reduce this B into capital A. Next, by using this production, we have to reduce capital A small b small c by capital A. Next, by using this production, capital B, small d is replaced by capital E. By using this production, so this derivation can be reduced by the start symbol. Okay, we are uh, starting from leaf nodes of the past tree to up. Up is nothing but start symbol of the past tree. We are starting from Bottom level, bottom level is nothing but leaf nodes of the past tree. So that can be reduced to top, top, top is nothing but start symbol of the past tree. Here we are starting from the start symbol. We are, then we are passing it to bottom level. Bottom level is nothing but leaf nodes of the past tree. Here we are starting from leaf nodes of the past tree, then we can it can be reduced to up to the start symbol of the past tree. So this is the given input string. First, B can be reduced by capital A. Next, capital A, B, C can be reduced by capital A. Next, small d can be reduced by capital B. Next is small a, capital A, capital B, small e can be reduced by yes. We are starting from the leaf nodes of the past tree. Then we are passing from leaf nodes of the past tree to the topmost symbol. That is nothing but start the symbol of the past tree. So this is the bottom of parsing and this is the top the parsing. Next. The third difference is top down parsing uses leftmost derivation. Okay, so here in top down parsing, we have to use leftmost derivation for getting the input string from the start symbol. Whereas bottom up parsing uses rightmost derivation in a reverse that means to get the start symbol from the given input string we have to use the rightmost derivation in a reverse in bottom up parsing next one is uh, in top down parsing its main decision is what production rule we have to use to get the given input string. Okay. Whereas in the case of bottom up parsing. Okay. What production rule we have to apply at which time to reduce the given input string to the start symbol. Okay. So here its main decision is in top down parsing what production rule we have to use to get the given input string that means we have to derive the given input string from the starting symbol okay whereas in the case of bottom up parsing okay its main decision is to select when to use the production rule at which time the production rule we have to use to reduce the given input string to the starting symbol. Okay, so this uh, difference can be easily understand by the second difference. Okay, next. Next point, top down parser is moderate powerful, whereas bottom up parser is more powerful than top-down parser. Okay. Next one, top-down parser
passing takes less time for passing okay whatever the given input string is there to get the given input string from the starting symbol of the given grammar it takes less time to parse whereas in the case of bottom up parser for the given input string we have to get the starting symbol from that given input string it takes more time when compared to the top down parsing okay next one top down parser is simple to construct okay it is very easy to construct the top down parser in a simple manner whereas in the case of bottom up parsing is very difficult to construct when compared to the top down parser okay next one is top down parsing is cheaper top down parsing is cheaper whereas bottom up parsing is more costlier okay next one is the examples for top down parsers are recursive descent parser and predictive parsers and ll1 parser okay here the examples for bottom up parsers are uh, lr parsers lr parsers is nothing but uh, slr parser calr parser lar parser operator precedence parser shift reduce parsers so these are the examples for bottom up parsing so these are the examples for top down parsing next one is the limitations of top down parsing so whenever the given grammar contains a left recursion left factoring backtracking and ambiguity so it is uh, somewhat difficult to construct a top down parser first we have to eliminate the left recursion left factoring ambiguity while construct the top down parser so because of that reason so these are the limitations of top down parser okay next here in this one a bottom up parser produces ambiguity grammar okay first we have to eliminate the ambiguity ambiguity means for the given input string we have to uh, more than one parse tree is available for the same given input string more than one parse tree is executed more than one parse tree is constructed either two leftmost uh, derivations or two rightmost derivations so so at that case the given grammar contains the ambiguity so because of that reason first we have to eliminate the ambiguity in the grammar then we have to construct the bottom up parser if it is ambiguity is there in the grammar it is very difficult to construct a bottom up parser so because of that reason first we have to eliminate the uh, ambiguity in the given grammar next difference is top down parsing uses backtracking whereas bottom up parsing uses handling okay so these are the main differences between top down parsing and bottom up parsing okay so thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please share this video to your friends and classmates if you like this video please subscribe my channel name so dibela srinivasa rao Thank you.